Well, it's another evening at Rock's Garage, and I'm just doing a little interim project. My truck, the gray truck, didn't want to start the other morning after the rain, like an inch or something. I don't know. Everything was soaking wet. I didn't want to start. I don't know exactly why. I figured there's water somewhere where there shouldn't be. But it's also probably about time to replace a bunch of stuff. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm going through and I, I bought a distributor a long time ago. I just never had a chance to put it in. Um, but I decided I'm going to replace the distributor and then I've got a set of uh, plugs and plug wires. The other morning I replaced the coil um, and the cap and rotor but I don't know if the cap and, I think the cap and rotor were fine. I replaced the coil and I got it to start. It's just run like dirt since then. So I'm gonna sit here and put a distributor in. I've never done it before. Hopefully, I don't break anything. And we'll go from there. Anyway, just thought I'd give you an update. All right. Well, thought I'd give you a little update. New distributor. Um, this is actually plugged in now. New plugs, new wires. Uh, I did that valve cover gasket like earlier in the summer. I never did that one. So I did that one while I had it apart. Got a new coil in it. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, but it runs really good. I uh, put this in and lined it up and uh, uh, timed it as well. Uh, the old the old uh, distributor was off by one tooth and so to compensate for that they had shifted every wire by one position on the cap well and then you do all that and still it becomes really hard to time because that's not how much it was shifted by but I got it in there and lined it up with where it was supposed to be and then I'm one position on the cap and it it fired right up I only had to adjust it a little bit and uh, I put it on 10 or 12 degrees before top dead center. Maybe. I don't remember. There's a white line on there I scribed a long time ago. That's why I put it on. But it runs better than it has in a very long time. In fact, I've never taken that distributor out before. So I don't know. It must have been like that since I bought it. So it runs really good now. Plus the spark plugs. Uh, some of them were kind of fouled up. Uh, one of them was kind of oily. Uh, They're all just kind of dirty and cracked and wore out. And all new spark plugs, all new wires, I think, really helped as well. So. Anyway, well, there's the update for tonight. I'll see you all next time. Hi! Today, and I'm halfway through this project, but somebody said we should videotape whatever. Today, we're replacing Bridget's radiator. Because it was leaking. Yeah. We pulled the little down already. It's over there on the ground. Bad radiator. <laughs> we just popped this one in here and I'm getting ready to start hooking everything back up. It's pretty simple. So. It just has the transmission cooler lines and these are a push fit connection. I've got a little bit of, I'm going to put a little oil on them to lubricate the o-ring. And then the top hose and the bottom hose is down there and that's about it and the uh, shroud holds everything else in Okay, let's just leave it off. And they should pop right in. I might have taken that snap right now. Yeah, the snap didn't look that well, This bottom one is a little tricky.
What number are you on? Okay, you're almost there. Slide the little safety cap up. Sure that's sitting where it's supposed to. Start putting those in. Right? Okay, let's begin. A little one. I'll get this one. That way it's not shaking. That's connected. Put that lock on. And after that, we can open the cap. No. no. This is he the, was the last one that came out. This holds the radiator and the top of the shroud. All one good piece. And what's the shroud? Put it around the fan to help direct the airflow. It is the top of the shroud. Mm -hmm. I said that. Yeah, he said it helps support the shroud. I'm on. I did it. Fantastic. Fifteen times, so I'm impressed. What? You think you can do better, Daddy? Not sure I will. Together. There's actually some stuff that was just. Next time, you can find me. Also, that kind of looks like a video camera. No, the other way. Yeah. It just uh, hangs out I, down here. 15 laps in a race that goes yeah. all the way around that car into the yard, around that tree, around there, around that tree, and back here. 15 laps. This one here. Very nice. There's the, there's the. There's some holes in the lower shroud. The stuff just right. pokes into it. Hold it. Come on. Anybody know where I can get some water? Just keep it flopping around so much, I guess. You do. This is your house. Yeah. Right. Get some water. I'll get All right. All right. Now, pull the shroud together. Yeah. Pull the shroud together, just putting the in a couple more pieces, and then we gotta refill our radiator. With what? I don't know. Yeah, of course. Antifreeze, to be exact.
not. Why is it not? Why is it? Oh, stupid plastic shrouds. Similar thing here. Fun one to do. Let me know when you're on lap four and I'll go over and hand it to you. Okay, you gonna hand it to me on I'm lap four? Well, when you've done four laps. Is there acorns in there? Yep. Are you ready? Squirrels. I would say. Yes. That's oh. right. I would definitely say. Get set. Go. Uh, the moment we're uh, doing the air There's filter. stuff rattling inside the air cleaner, so we don't open it up and up yeah. We believe it's probably doing the squirrels. It's acorns. The dang trees. No, it's squirrels. Oh, I think squirrels put them in there. Yeah. Or Only squirrels. Or chipmunks. Oh, it's more like the chipmunks. in there? I don't know. Is that? Because then I can say I did something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bridget. Look at that. Fixing my own truck. Okay, so all we got left is the antifreeze. No, you gotta oh. finish putting the air intake stuff on. Oh, yeah, that's true. And this one over here is going to be a better to get that can back on there. We're going to try our best. Yeah, 
Last screw. How does that fit? With this? Three. It's dark out now, unfortunately. Bridget is it. Unfortunately, Bridget isn't getting us free dinner up on. Are you getting us free dinner, Bridget? You no. gotta finish first. Mm, that's true. So, that obviously goes on first. Go, go. It's almost like this goes on. I'm just directing them to where this should be seen. Thank you. Okay. The weird noise box thing. That's you. Oh, like an insert. Yeah. Mm. What are you doing? Because I want to go on. Why not? Did you tell it to go on? No. It's like a cutout in the bellows for that radiator thing. That's weird. You lost straight. That's where it's going to be. It looks straight.
Oh, you're stronger than a piece of plastic. <laughs> Once it goes, it goes. But getting started. There it is. And he's got one with this fancy dancy clip. Hey! We're done! We're still put cooling in and leave that there. Well, That's the important part. It's, it has to do with what it's made out of. Right. But I didn't see that one when I went to buy this other one because that one was almost empty. All GM vehicles came from the factory with Dex Cool, which is orange. It's a, uh, it was a decent attempt to make an antifreeze that wasn't poisonous to animals, like the green stuff is. The drawback is it doesn't work quite as well, but it's not bad. If everything's functioning properly, you won't have any problems. So is it not harmful to animals? Can you squishy squishy the top two top ones? Yes. Uh, no, the rubber one, just the radiator over there. So is it poisonous? <laughs> it sort of Don't does. drink it. Every time you do that, you get a little bit of air bubbles out. But I don't know if there's enough air bubbles in there to get that all empty. <clears throat> Which means it's going to spill one for my funnel. But whatever. Funnel's a little full. Yep, that's going to spill. Such is life. That's one full radiator. Good. Let's put the radiator cap on. Do you want me to put the radiator cap on? Yeah. You will need to, yes. You might need to buy a new one. You get ambitious. You know what's close? Uh, and where's the that reservoir? cap on. Now we're going to fill up the reservoir. Okay. 
We'll do a little more. There's probably an air bubble or two in there. It'll suck that down a little bit. But that should be everything. So, are you getting us free dinner? So now it should be good to go. Is your keys in it? Uh, I think they're in my pocket. One of Which them. Which one? <laughs> this one. I'm just sitting here and waiting for the truck to heat up a little bit so we can check everything make the thermostat opens but let me just tell you about this truck this is like an 01 or 02 or something she got a really good deal on it and look at those miles let me see the miles 64,000 miles on this thing that is almost unheard of so it's a nice little truck it can get you around it's an automatic unfortunately but somebody has a broken leg so it works well for her right now. Anyway. Just wanted to mention that while I'm waiting. <laughs>